Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hi, hi. Good evening, hey, teacher. Everyone. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Jorge, Paola, Jancy, Veronica, Christian, and Edwin. Good People, what's up? <laughs> what's up? How are you guys? Everything good. Everything good. Everything is good. All Thank right, all right. Yes. Do you do you feel tired? Do you feel okay? Or do you feel sleepy? Hungry? Tell me. I have coffee. I have coffee. Okay, you, okay. I can see that you have coffee. Yes. I I have something here and this is uh milk. Yes, it's milk. I cannot it's so sad. I cannot drink coffee. <laughs> Yes. Yes. It's it's forbidden. It's forbidden. I cannot drink coffee. It's bad for my health. I cannot drink soda. I cannot drink coffee. I cannot eat junk food. People, uh start. All right, all right. Hello, orientación vacacional, vocacional. How are you? <laughs> Hey, teacher. <laughs> Jansi, hello, Jansi. Raquel, welcome. Thank you for being here, Jansi and Raquel. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right, people, uh, welcome today. Today is the, you know, it's the fifth day, the fifth day or class number five. This means, this means that we finished the unit number one today, okay? And uh, there are a few things, there are a few things that we need to review, okay? Or a lot of things that we need to review, yes. So this class is basically going to be about reviewing the previous, the previous topics, okay? Yes, that's what we're going to do today. And remember, oh, uh, that we have to work on the platform today or tomorrow morning the latest. I checked the platform yesterday and there were only one, two, three, I think three people that are working on the platform. So guys, if you haven't done anything on the platform, please do so today or tomorrow morning before 8 a.m. Yes. All right. Yes. Let me begin. Let me begin by taking attendance not everyone is here yet. Oh, uh, let me tell you how many people have worked on the platform according to this. Yet yeah, only three people. Only three people, yes. Only one person has completed the first unit, and there are two people that have almost completed the unit. So, guys, remember you have to work on it today or tomorrow morning, the latest. Let me take attendance, Ana Victoria Galán. It's, uh, have you tried to edit, okay, something that, okay. Give me a second, I'm having some issues with the, with the spreadsheet. Okay, let me see. Ana Victoria Galán, no, right? Andy Ernesto Martinez? No? Okay. Brian David Ramirez Bernal? Present. Thank sure. you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge? Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano? 
Christian Alexander Rivera Carranza. Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Thank you. Diana Yamile Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Edwin Heriberto Delgado Verdugo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solís. Present teacher. Thank you. Ismael Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Josué Cortez Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria Rodriguez, no, no, Ramirez. Sorry. Present. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Ricardo, no. Sandra Ives Mendoza de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. Uh, Verónica Lizeth Portillo de Castro. Present teacher. And the last one is Yancy Andrea Solortano Castro. Present teacher. All right, all right. We are ready. People, I told you, uh, or I mentioned earlier, that today is the review day. That means that we're going to review the previous topics from uh, Wednesday to yesterday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and yesterday. All right? Yes. But let me begin with... Uh, we can do this first. Let's begin with the book. The information that I am sharing right now, it's on page number 17. Go to page number 17 and you're going to see that information over there. This is the last day of unit number one about manufacturing. Yes. And uh, the first thing that we have here, it's a conversation. This conversation contains interesting vocabulary that we're going to review after we're done with the reading. All right. It, it says there, listen to your teacher read the conversation and practice in pairs. It's a conversation between these two guys, John and Ben. All right, let me begin. Listen carefully as I read this. We were, ha we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our, our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What was the cost? Right now, it's three for, for this year. And the cost is uh, $30 per unit. That's great. The conversation is very short, as you can see. Yes. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Clear for me, teacher. It's clear for you, all right. Teacher, I would yeah. like to know the meaning of invento inventory turnover. Yes, inventory turnover is when you change the inventory, basically. Yes. Yes. Like reemplazo, uh, rotación de, de, de inventario. That's the word. Yes, rotation. Yes, that's what it is. More questions? What about stock? Do you know what stock is? It's the quantity of the items or the Product. Okay, it's the quantity of the product, yes. But in this case, it's an infinity. This is working as an infinity. Yes. 
Any ideas? Existencias. Yeah, yes. It has it has many, many, many uh many what many definitions. Yes. All right. The same the same as turnover. Turnover has many definitions. Let me show them to you. It's a word that has different definitions. Hmm. Let me show you. What we have there is inventory turnover. Look, look at this. We got over here. As you can see, it says ventas, volumen de venta, reemplazo. Like I was telling you, replacing the 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 products we already have. Facturación. We have more over here. This is about food. Okay, that vuelta. Okay, there are there are many definitions that you can see with the word turnover. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's go back. Let me read this to you again, and this time I will do it slowly for you guys to listen. And uh, well, just listen to the pronunciation, and then you guys will have the chance to practice. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? Oh, what about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year. And the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. There you go. That's the conversation. I would like to hear some people practice. Welcome, Anna. Welcome, uh, Sarah. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Who else? Welcome, welcome. Let me check something here. Marvin, are you going to be as a listener today? If you cannot speak, let me know through the chat. And Christian and Ismael. I'm asking because it says it says listener there. That's why I'm asking. Let me know. All right. Let me see. I need two people to start practicing the conversation real quick. Let me get it from Raquel Elizabeth. Yes. And and Sara. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sara, you start. Um, uh, John, we were very busy yesterday. Okay. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough. Quality or chocolate caramel. What was our inventory to turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's a, a three for this year and the cost is a thirty dollar per on. That's great. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Raquel and uh, Raquel. <laughs> Both Raquel, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, exactly, Rachel. <laughs> All right. Let's continue with uh, Anna. Hello, Anna. She's happy, look. Hey, yes. she's happy. <laughs> Only. Thank you, Rizzi, thank you, Rizzi. Only happy. <laughs> All right, uh, Anna and Jorge, George, the beer man. Okay. We start, Jorge. I said Jorge uh, who is start? A... Jorge is not there right now. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto? 
Yes, teacher. Help Anna, please, with the conversation. Okay. Anna, would you like to be John or Ben? It's okay. I John. Okay. Uh, uh, in this case, you start. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. And we did, I think, we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turn up to, uh, sorry, inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about ghost? Right now it is three for this year and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you both for, for reading. Let me continue. Brian, hello, Brian. And Sandra, yes. Okay, no problem. Um, who is John? You no. and me, Sandra. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot, lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What the, what was our inventory turn turnover for chocolate caramel? Uh, what about the cost? Okay. Uh, right now it is three for this year, and the cost is is thirty per unit. That's great. All right, uh, here is BC. BC, all right. BC, BC. Uh, caramel. Yes, we got it. Yes, only that. Brian, thank you, and Sandra, thank you both. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Let's hear from Veronica and uh, Edwin. Okay. Edwin? Okay. I'm John. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turn turn oh, turnover turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now is three for three for this year, and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. All right, it is great. <laughs> okay, Paola, hello. Paola and, uh, yes, I need your help, Jorge. Hello, are you back? Yes, he's back. Hello, yes, I am, I am. Go ahead. We Can were... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. <clears throat> yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What 25. was our inventory? So what was our inventory turned over for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now, it's three for this year, and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. It is, it is great. It is great. Jansi, are you there? Jansi, Andrea? And Denise. <coughs> Teacher, how do you say quantify? Quantify. Which one? Quantity? Quantity? Quantity. Yes, quantity, yes. One quantity, quantity. okay. Yes. Quantity. Yes, quantity, yes. Okay. 
Thank you. Right, okay. Uh, we're missing Denise. Apparently, Jesse is not here. Who's missing? Nobody else is missing. Okay. I, I can help you out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be, I don't know, well, I'm going to be Ben. Go ahead, you're John. Thanks. Um, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit. That's great. That's amazing. All right, people, thank you so much for your participation. And well, let's continue down here. And uh, part number two is basically about the conversation or some something about the conversation. It says there, match the definitions with the words below. We have five definitions. As you can see, one, two, three, four, and five. And down here, we have the five words. Look, we got cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory. Guys, let's place... Let's place each word in its corresponding definition. Let's do that right now. I'm going to give you from two to three minutes. It's kind of easy, so let's go. Yes. And let me see who is uh, sending messages in the group because I need to see who's there. Uh, Christian, okay, Christian. We got it, Christian. It says, good evening. I won't be able to get online today. I don't know who that person is. <laughs> I don't know who that person is. Okay. We got it. We got it. Are you guys ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take it easy, Mori. Take it easy, Mori. Take it easy. <laughs> Sorry. Today's Wednesday or Tuesday? Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Teacher, sorry. Um... The words is stock. Where is the meaning stock? I don't remember. Okay, people, what's a stock? Stock. Can you help? Can you help Carlos, please? Stock. Stock. Yes. Yes. Guys, hello. In English or in Spanish? In Spanish. What? What is the meaning <laughs> Spanish? No. Don't speak in Spanish. Oh. Uh, whatever. I think <laughs> it's <in> English. <laughs> existencias. Existencias. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you.
sister. Good evening. I won't be able to get online today. I'm finished. Finished. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This person has a cat. I don't know who this person is. I'm going to call it the cat person. <laughs> <laughs> No. There you go. Okay. I think you guys are ready. And number one, we have a particular amount of anything. Yes, but you're gonna read. You're gonna give me. You're gonna give me the word. Excuse me. You're gonna give me the word, and you're <gasps> gonna give me the definition. All right. Yes. I Let think start. stock. Okay, Jorge. Yes, go ahead, Jorge. Thank you. <laughs> stock. Stock is a particular amount of anything. I think. Okay, a particular amount of anything. Stop. People, do you agree with Jorge? No, I no, I'm not agree. Quantity. Quantity. Okay, you believe it is quantity. Okay, let's let's place both. Let's place both quantity and uh, stop. We're gonna see which one is the correct later on. Yes, don't worry, don't worry. All right. Paola, can you read the second one? Inventory is a complete list of merchandise or stuff. Okay, inventory. Let me <laughs> inventory. people, do you agree with Paola? I agree with yes, agree. yes. Yes. Okay, everyone agrees with Paola. Inventory is a complete listing of merchandise or stuff on hand. It's merchandise, all right? If you ask me why, I don't know. Because look, I sent you a word in the chat. That one is mechanic. Mechanic? Why not merchandise, right? But it's merchandise. It's different there, right? Mechanic merchandise. Yes. You see, hey, Carlos. Hello. Me teacher or Carlos number three. Okay. Um, I think is the price. Uh, the price paid to to get something is. Uh, let me see it's cost okay people do you agree with Carlos yes teacher. Yes. yes yeah okay cost the price paid to get something okay excellent Marvin I see, I see you now Marvin can you read number four if you are ready okay maybe Yes, uh, <laughs> quantity, quantity, the number of times a company sells its inventory a year. Okay, you think it's quantity? Yes. Okay, people, do you agree with Marvin? No. No, no, no I think it's stock. I think inventory turnover. Inventory turnover. Okay, let's try, let's try. We. Let's try inventory turnover. I think that one is the correct one. Turn over. Yes. Do you remember uh, what inventory uh, turnover is? We mentioned this before. Do you remember what it is? Sí, rotación de inventario. Exactly, exactly, yes. The number of times a company sells its inventory a year. And the last one, Brian, <clears throat> can you can you read it, Brian? Yeah, teacher. Uh, the number five. Yes. Or just read. 
Give me the word and the definition. Okay. Um, the number five, right? Is yes, number to, five. Get more, to, to get more products of inventory. Um, I think the quantity. Quantity. People, do you yeah. agree with Brian? No, teacher. I think it's stuck. Okay, oh, okay. You believe, you believe it's stuck. stuck. And so that means that means that number one up here is quantity, right? Okay. And this is how it is, yes. This is how it is. Quantity, a particular amount of anything. Inventory, a complete listing of merchandise or stock on hand. Cost is the price paid to get something. Inventory turnover, the, the number of times a company sells its inventory a year. And number five, stock to get more product in the inventory. All right. Do you have any questions? Not six. No questions? Okay, let's continue. And let's go to, ne to the next page. On the next page, we have uh, something here, some products. And the indication says reading. Okay, we're going to read. Read the description of the chocolate products below and complete the chart with products as specifications. We have the first one, excuse me. We have spicy peanut toffee, total candies, chocolate covered caramels, and chocolate dipped nougat. Spicy peanut toffee. Our spicy peanut toffee is made, hold on, there was a word. Our spicy peanut uh, toffee is made with butter toffee, roasted peanuts, and cajun chili pepper. Spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. All right. Do you have any questions about this? What is salty? What is the meaning salty in Spanish? Salty. 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 Yes. Salty. salty food. Thank you. Thank you, Paola. Salado. Yes. Oh, my life. My you. life. <laughs> Your life? Yeah. <laughs> teacher. <People>, yes. <laughs> no. I don't believe, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you should believe me. You should believe teacher, me. Teacher, you are so funny. I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> All right, more questions about the vocabulary in the first in the first uh, square or, or chart. No, more questions. Teacher roasted. What is roasted? Roasted. People roasted. What is roasted? Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Manito está. And, and <laughs> roasted pen and cayenne, chili pepper. Cayenne, yes. Cayenne, chili pepper. Es un chile. Cayenne, cayenne. Se llama cayena en español, la palabra esa, cayenne. Cayena, cayenne. But, es un... but, but the pronunciation is cayenne. Cayenne, yes. Es un tipo de chile. Okay, okay. I am on the Chile, so I don't have as a tipo de Chile. Okay, more questions. The gene is the name of that the Chile. The what? The gene is the name. Yes, yes. No more questions? Okay. 
It's okay. Let's continue with the second one. Total candies. Total slices, starting with six pieces. Rich buttery caramel, fresh roasted pecans, dark or milk chocolate. What did I do? Box sizes starting with six pieces, rich buttery caramel, fresh fresh roasted pecans, dark or milk chocolate. Yes. There you go. Questions about this one. Well, caramel is like a derretido. Caramelo derretido. This one. Yes. Yes, but basicamente. Yes, yes. Delicious. <laughs> and the pronunciation uh, is the teacher buttery. 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 Buttery, buttery. buttery caramel. Buttery. I can I eat candy. Buttery caramel. Caramel. I can I eat candy. Okay. More questions? What is pecan? Sorry? Pecan. It's a... Uh, how do you call it? It's como una semilla, pero parece garrapata. <laughs> Honestly. Parece garrapata. Exactly, exactly. No sé cómo se llama en español. Sé que es un pez que es una semilla. Una semilla como... Eh, se llaman pecanas. Algo así, creo. Pero sí, sí. Pero parece garrapata esa cosa. It's like... <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I don't have idea what is that. You don't believe me, right? Parece esa cosa como que se llama. No recuerdo como que una cosa bien bien. Es morada. Que aparece en el tamal de de tamal de gallina. No es eso, verdad? No, no. Pasas. Ajá, eso. Pasas. Acá está. Let's take a look. Teacher. A los tamales de gallina no le ponen pasas, teacher. Algunos sí, algunos sí. Los tamales que llevan leche. Pero esas no son pasas, son nueces. Leche, dice. Esas son americanas. Esas son, se parecen sí. a las nueces. Hay unos tamales look, que llevan leche. They look, they look like garrapatas. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. I'm telling you, people. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling no. you. No. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Only in your that, mind. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't look tasty. It doesn't look tasty or delicious. <laughs> it doesn't look tasty or delicious. Doesn't not, but no parecen arrepatos. They yes, they do. <laughs> no teacher, no teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay, then we have chocolate covered caramels, chocolate pure caramel and chocolate. Box sizes starting with six pieces. This one I think is clear. Then we have a chocolate dipped nugget. Our chocolate dipped nugget is made from our from our old fashioned nugget candy recipe, and it contains just the right combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Yes. Tell me, questions about this one. All no questions? Fascinated. All fashioned. Which one? All fashioned. All fashioned. People all, all fashioned? Fashioned. Fashioned. It's como that. Una, this is an uh, old-fashioned nugget. Oh, viejo. Como un dulce, un dulce tradicional, modo. antiguo. Oh. Un dulce que, que está tradicional o antiguo. Old-fashioned nugget candy. El nugget es un dulce que se hace de, de uh, huevo, miel, and uh, I don't remember es what else. Es judía, no. Yes. Y almendra, incluida también. As a nugget. What else? Dip, dip, dip. Yes. Dígame, dígame. What is dipped? Oh, dipped. 
Ok. Bañado, bañado. I got something in my eye. Okay, it's gone. Thank you, thank you, Paola. That's an, exactly, that's a nugget. They are delicious. Let me tell you that they are delicious. I used to I used to eat all of uh, uh, those things like all the all of the time. Now I can't. I cannot eat candy or sweets. Start. All right. Let's practice reading. I want to volunteer for the first one with the spicy peanut toffee. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Excellent. Uh, just read, right? Yes, just read. Okay, a spicy peanut. This is the correct pronunciation? Peanut. It's peanut. 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 Okay. A spicy peanut toffee. Or a spicy peanut toffee is made with the butter to is the butter toffee. Roasted peanuts and cajun chili. Cajun chili pepper. Mm -hmm. Spicy peanut toffee is the perfect combination of sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy. All right, all right, there you go, there you go. Excellent, thank you, Brian, for reading. I need another volunteer to read the second one. Guys? Me? Go ahead, thank you. Several candies. Box size starting with six pieces rich buttery caramel, fresh roasted pecans, dark or milk chocolate. All right, all right. Excellent, Paola. Thank you for reading. I need another person to continue reading the other one. Chocolate covered caramel, chocolate pure caramel, and chocolate. Box size starting with six pieces. Six pieces. All right. That's too expensive. Seven dollars. <laughs> all right. I think and the last one. The last one. I need a volunteer for the last one. Uh, me. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Cho chocolate dipped nut or chocolate dipped nut is made from our old fashioned and nut nut candy yes, receipt yes. nut candy receipt and contain just the right combination of honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. And dark chocolate. All right. Recipe. Here, recipe. Uh, recipe. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. People, thank you very much for reading. Let's continue down here with this part. Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do because we don't have the, the... Okay, it says there, read the description of the chocolate products below. We already did that part. And complete the chart with product specifications. People, let's go and let's do this part. We're gonna have the name here, up here, the name, the code. We don't have a code. I don't see code. We don't have a code. Size, box, precision, and ingredients, weight. We don't have the weight either. All right, let's make it up. Let's make it up. Whatever whatever we don't see here, we're going to make it up. You know what make up is? Can you see that make up? Make up. Whatever we don't see here, we're going to make it up. Significa inventarlo, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes, make it up or make up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to give you like five minutes. Yes. I'm going to give you like five minutes. Let me make this smaller so you can see all of it. Yes, now you can see most of it. There you go. Better, better.
Entonces, Bernice y Saja están peladas, dice. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Cold? What is cold? Cold. cold. It's cold. 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 I think it's uh like the number of the product. I don't know. But if you don't see if you don't see the information up there, you're gonna make it up. Okay, you're gonna make it up the way you want. Oh.
teacher. Sorry, uh, wait, wait. Wait, wait means wait. Wait means peso. Oh, yes. Thank but we you. do not. We do not have that information there. T-shirt. Ah, dígame, dígame, dígame. But, uh, but make a together is uh, maquillaje, ¿verdad? Sorry. And make a together is a maquillaje. I don't understand you, Veronica. <laughs> I can use the makeup. Este es inventar, yes. pero separar and together the words. Yeah, if you if you put it together, if you put it together as a single word, as a compound word, sería maquillaje. Yes. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. También está makeup for. Makeup for. Significa recompensar. When you when you do something bad, like hey, let me let me make it up for you. Déjame recompensarlo. Make it up for you. Are you guys ready? Can I have a question that is related to homework? Is that a phone? Okay, ask me. Is we we only have have to do the unit one. Yes. Session one or unit number one.
Okay, let's begin. Let's begin with the checking. We're gonna. We have to review this one. Uh, vamos a ver. Let me choose a person. Veronica, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Give me the name of the first one and go go from this first one. Mention the code, the size, the ingredients, the weight, and the price per unit. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. The name is Pies Peanut Toffee. Mm -hmm. And cut it. Uh, number 146. Um, and the size, one box there with uh, eight units of pi or pieces. pieces. And the ingredients, um, better toffee, roasted peanuts, and cayenne chili pepper, and weight, um, eight ounces. Ounces is correct? Yes, ounces. Ounces. Okay. And the price per unit. Oh my God. Tengo que hacer ahí la, la, la ecuación. <laughs> but a uh, uh, box. Well, ah, okay. Uh, the box with the uh, eight units. Um, seven. Seven dollars. Okay, seven dollars. So, sorry, it's, it's seven with the fifty dollar cents. Uh, fifty uh, cents. Right. Dollar. Seven fifty. <laughs> $750. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Veronica, for reading. Uh, let me choose another person. That person is Brian. Brian, read the other one. Okay. Uh, this will be the total candies, right? The second one, yes. Yeah, sort of candies is, is the name. Uh, the, co the code is uh, 5879. Uh, the, the size is, is six pieces, six pieces, sorry. And the ingredients rich, buttery caramel, fresh roasted pecans, and dark milk chocolate. Uh, the heat, uh, the weight is, uh, is a makeup of uh, 10 ounces. And the price per unit is six with 13. Okay, okay, that's fantastic. Thank you, Brian, for sharing. Let me continue with the other one. Sandra, go ahead and share the other one. The next is the chocolate, the name is chocolate silvery caramel. And the code is 45. 68 and the size book with six unit uh, the package contain six unit and the ingredient is rare chocolate honey and almond and the weight eight ounces and the price one dollar with 16 cents. That was, which one did you read this? The chocolate covered caramels or the chocolate dipped nuggets? I, I mix the ingredients. <laughs> which one did you the read The chocolate, this? chocolate covered caramel. Okay, the chocolate covered caramel. All right. Let me continue with the last one and Raquel, Elizabeth. No finish, teacher. Sorry? No finish. You haven't finished that one? Okay, I understand. Let me see, Carlos, Alberto. Yes, teacher. You see, um, okay, um, my candies, the, the name of candies is Korean, Korean, King, Korean candies, uh, called 
code uh, 122 plus uh, 355. Uh, six box, eight unit. The ingredients is Korean candy is made with a milk coat uh, and is covered with black uh, chocolate. Its interior is complete to marshmallow. Um, your weight is your weight is eight grams and price for units is two uh two point fifty for unit dollars. Okay, okay, you included some some uh, a few things there. All right, people, thank you very much for your participation. We have we have officially we have officially finished the unit number one. Tomorrow we're going to continue with unit number two. All right, we're done with this one. Let me stop sharing. Let me close that book. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you, teacher. Bless, Bless you. Bless Bless you. you. Sorry. <clears throat> I got some allergy reaction. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, excellent. Now, now that we have finished that part, we're going to continue and we're going to start the review of the grammar parts or the grammar topics that we studied on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and yesterday. It was four of them, yes, four of them. Here we go. I have a question for you all. What topics do you remember from unit number one? What topics, we're talking about grammar topics here. What topics do you remember from unit number one? It's been four topics. Can you mention them? Yes, teacher. Imperative. Imperative, that's one, yes, exactly. I what just else? remember, I just remember, yes, sorry, uh, go ahead there. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, the sequence t-shirt. Which one? Sequence. Which one? The sequence. The sequence. Oh, the sequence. Sequence, sequence, sequence. Yeah. Okay. We have we have the sequence words. Yes, the sequence words. Mira, mira, son pandas. Mira, ese es el dos. No lo puedo poner recto. Teacher, I just remember the clausus, clausus. Yes, clausus and imperative. Uh -huh, and... Imperative. And yeah. Yeah, so should. Which one well, is just... should and shouldn't. Should and shouldn't. That's the one that we studied yesterday. You know, si ya puedo. Los tres. Dos no puedo. <laughs> oh no. And the other one, there's one missing. And I think the one missing is the most difficult or the most challenging for the moment. That one is what clauses, what clauses. Yes, so it's been it's been four grammar topics. Yes, they are here. Look, sequence words, first, next, then finally. What clauses, yes, what clauses. Imperatives we have here, open the door, turn right, don't worry, don't stop, be quiet, be careful. And should. Yes. These are the four grammar topics that we have practiced during 
or that we practiced during unit number one. Yes. Let's begin with the words that show sequence. You know them all already. They are here. First, second, third, fourth, then later, after, afterwards, next, right after, after that, finally, lastly, at last, first of all, second of all, and third of all. Yes. Those are the words that we use to show sequence. Well, next is not here. It must be next. Así que está. No lo había visto. All right. Yes. Do you have any questions about them? No questions about them? Okay. Today we're going to practice a lot. We have to practice a lot. All right. And let me show you the first activity. This is the first activity. Take a look. How to design a logo. How to design a logo. You are going to complete this individually using, using the words or the sequence words that we were previously reviewing. Take a look. This ones. You're going to use them here to tell me the sequence uh, when creating or designing a logo, how to design a logo. Guys, let's begin. Let's begin. If you don't know, just try to make it up. <laughs> All right. Let's try to make it up. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. If you have any questions, I am here. Here's the call. <laughs> Sorry? Choose the color. Choose the color. Yes. Okay. The, uh, how oh, to I design am. a logo. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I forgot my water again. Give me a minute, people. Give me a minute. I need water. I'm sorry. Jesus.
Are you guys ready? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, teacher. I finished. Okay, thank you. Guys, are you ready? Paola is ready. Who else is ready? Okay, Veronica is ready. I think I'm ready, teacher. Oh no. <laughs> okay, you're ready too. Okay, thank you. Sara, Marvin. Sandra, Raquel, Edwin, Brian, Anna, ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic. Good, yes. good. Okay, let's begin with the uh, volunteer, of course. Okay, thank you, Paola. Go ahead. First of all, define your brand identity. Second, know your target audience. Third, seek inspiration and anal analyze your compet competitors. Right after, determine the style and type of your logo. Then, choose a color palette and typography. Next, draw the shape. And then, design your logo and refine the result. And finally, put your logo to work. All right, all right, fantastic. Competitors. Competitors, yes, competitors, excellent. Thank you, Paola, for your participation. That was good, that was good. Let me continue with uh, Edwin, yes, Edwin. Mm, okay, uh, first, look for inspiration. Second, determine the style. Uh, third, choice a palette, uh, a palette of color. And finally, uh, draw the shape or your look. Okay, okay. That will be the term. The term. Oh, yeah, the term. 
Okay, Dr. Edwin, thank time. you, thank yes. you for sharing. Let me continue with uh, Carlos. Carlos? I'm just sleeping. <laughs> okay, Carlos is not there right now. Let me see, Anna? Hello, hello, teacher. Okay, Carlos is back. Carlos, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, wait a minute, excuse me. Um, the first, it's, I don't know, is is my. <laughs> it's okay. The first time, the first time you have a design a logo. Second, you meet with a client. Um, uh, third, uh, when the client is satisfied, satisfied, uh, satisfied, satisfied. What is satisfied? Satisfied. Satisf okay. When the client is satisfied, you start this design uh, the logo. And uh, step four, you must to find a color and size and size to logo. And finally, you must to make a logo and you and your computer and choosing the program computer. Uh, computer. Okay. Yes, Carlos. Thank you for your participation. Veronica, go ahead. Okay. The first row identify uh, the objective. The second observe my com competition. Is right? Mm -hmm. Competition. Competition. Yes. Uh, competition. A third um, make a uh, sketch sketches. Bocetos. Sketch. Yes. Sketches. 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 Make sketches. Yes. And then choose fund and colors. Finally, review to the post post it. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Veronica, for sharing. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth, are you ready? Okay, Jazzy Andrea, what about you? Marvin? Mm -hmm. yeah, how, to design, how, how to design a logo? The first, think about the idea. Second, try to draw it. The third, convert the drawing to, to the computer. And finally, finally, uh, try to use a uh, a software or like an Illustrator of, of Photoshop and 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 the logo. Okay, okay, Marvin, thank you for your participation. Mm -hmm. Let's continue, Sara. Are, are you done? Sarah, no? Finish, teacher. Hello, teacher. Are you ready? Ya me había levantado. Aquí estoy. Yes, the, the activity, the activity. No, yo me había levantado y no había escuchado que estaba haciendo. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Raquel, are you ready? Yes. Okay, share, please. Thank you. The first determine the idea. The second, uh, use the develop and colors. And finally, present into the company in the logo. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Brian, are you ready, Brian? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um... See, okay, yeah, there, there is okay. Uh, that's a uh, for the single logo. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you yes, uh, have a general uh, idea, have a definition of 
what you want to express in the logo. Design sketches for brainstorming, brainstorming, inspiration, that's right, a place, colors according to, to what you want to identify and have a final result. That's it. Okay, thank you, Brian, for your participation. Sandra, go ahead, Sandra. Okay. The first step is start to create your idea for you need to sell. Um, the second, use um program how like a illustrator and make a draw. Try to you draw in with a like a vector, vector. And finally, choose a palette color. Okay, Sandra, thank you for participating. Let's continue with Anna. Okay, first, think an idea of what you want of logo. Second, choose a image and the text for your logo. Uh, then build your logo with the right colors and finally finish your logo. Okay, and finally finish your logo. Thank you, thank you for your participation, Anna. Let's continue with Jorge. Jorge, are you there? I think Jorge is not there. Denise, what about you? Are you there? Okay, I think they are not there right now. People, thank you for participating. Let's continue with the other one. Okay, and it's what clock? Teacher, teacher. Hi. I, teacher, sorry. Um, can you show me again the, uh, the words of second word, please? Yes, I can do that. Wait. Please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yes, all right, all right. Here, what clauses? Uh, I told you on uh, Thursday, I think, on Thursday, that we use what with clauses. A clause is a sentence that contains a subject and verb and complement, subject, verb, complement. And that clause, that clause can be in any structure or we can use any structure with what over here i have five structures simple present simple past simple future present progressive and infinitives you can use other tenses or other structures with no problems it, it's okay it's okay let me show you over here I can't tell you what, you know, I can't tell you what I don't understand what I don't know what. I can't remember what. These are some expressions that we can use with what in the middle of the sentence. What, what I am, en el espacio cualquier verbo, what I am doing, what I am talking about, what I am telling you, etc. You see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Well, only this ones, only this ones. Let me give you some examples. After the examples, you are going to try to give me your own. 
Look, I have I can't tell you what I don't understand what I don't know what I can't remember what uh what what I'm uh saying what I'm telling whatever is uh I know I know what etc. For example, for example, I can't tell you what she said to she said in the morning. I can't tell you what she said in the park. I can't tell you what she said in the park. Tenemos ahí, we have what she said. What she said in the park is the what clause in the simple past. Again, I repeat. We can use what clauses with any structure, any structure. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. It can be any structure. So I can tell you what she said in the park. Let me give you another example. They know, look, they know what the manager Look, they know what the manager is planning to do. They know what the manager is pl planning to do. What the manager is planning to do. That is the what clause. Okay. Let me give you, let me see, let me give you one minute, only one minute. Okay. To come up, to come up with your own example. Okay. You can use you can use any of the expressions you see there. I can't tell you what I don't understand what I don't know what I can't remember what what I'm what I am and you know what okay you can use any of those expressions complete it and share your example. Let me give you a minute. Go ahead. Think think real quick real quick. Guys, are you ready? Vamos a ver. Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere iniciar? 
I can remember what my mom buy in the morning. Mm, I can remember what my mom buy in the morning. Uh, well, buys. It says buys. Oh, buys. buys in the morning. Okay. I can remember. No puedo recordar que compra mamá en la mañana. Okay. Let's continue. No le puedo mentir. Okay, I won't try with, with this one, maybe try to use a, a, a future. I know what she will break break with you with you. I know what she will break break with you. Break. Break. Break up. Break up. Okay, break up. Break up with you. Okay, break up with you. All right. Well, thank you, Marvin, for your example. Let's continue with the volunteers. Hey, teacher. Carlos, go ahead. Me, uh, I can't tell you what my sister said of you. Uh, she doesn't understand what the teacher does. The people didn't remember what happened with air, air breaker. Uh, what I want to say to you is I love you. All right, all right. Thank you for loving me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no. thank you, thank you. All right, yeah. let's continue with the volunteers. Another person. Me, uh, Paola, yes. Can I? Okay, uh, teacher can tell us what is coming on the next exam. Repeat it. Teacher can tell us what is coming in the next exam. Next I exam. Can, I cannot tell you. It's it's cheating. Yes, I know. I'm and, saying that. <laughs> and men men don't cheat. Men never cheat. All right, thank you, Paola. Another yeah, person? Sure. Me, teacher. Okay, Sandra? I don't ready to say what happened in those last night. I don't? I don't ready. I don't ready to say what happened in the last oh, night. I am. I am not ready. I'm not ready. I am not ready to say what happened last night. Yeah, tell us, tell us. We want to know. No, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I think she passed out. That's why. She passed out. She got wasted. She got wasted. I was a little bit. <laughs> she got wasted. All right, all right. We're missing uh, Brian. We're missing uh, Edwin. Go ahead, Edwin. Uh, okay. I don't understand what I have in my mind right now. Okay. You, shall, you have to understand. <laughs> All right. So Edwin, confused. Thank you. Thank you. We're missing Raquel, Jorge, Denise, Jancy. We're missing Sara, Brian. Teacher sería what y de ahí algo en simple present. No, it can be it can be with any structure, and you can use you can use any of these these uh, expressions. I can tell you I don't understand. I don't know. I can remember what I am, and I know what. For example, in this what I am. What is <laughs> For example. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea que, un, por ejemplo, voy a decir, I can't tell you what, y de ahí lo demás. Yes. Eh, I can't tell. 
Eh, you want eh, she, she, she run, running or run in the park, for example. Or no. You, no, no. No. Different, different. It's different. Yes. In the past. No, simple. It's the present. No, it can be with any tense. Cualquier, cualquier estructura. Usted, ay, usted dijo... Usted dijo... Que ella corre en el parque. Sorry? Que ella corre en el parque, dije. Pero no, 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 no. No te puedo decir, dice acá. I can't tell you significa no te puedo contar o decir. Um, y puede ser, I can't tell you what the she story de de her, de ella algo así. ¿Te puedo contar la historia de ella? Mm -hmm. Por aquí dice, no. no te puedo contar lo que, ese what significa lo que, no te puedo contar lo que. Uh, no sé qué poner. <laughs> Yo creo que mi hand está bien, slow. <laughs> Let me give you an example. I can tell you, I can tell you what I am eating. No te puedo contar lo que estoy comiendo. I cannot tell you what I am eating. I, uh, uh, for example, I can tell you what I am. Eh, sí, sí, como ver, sí. Watching. Watching. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. I can tell you. I I can tell you what. I am watching me. Yes, you're watching me. <laughs> yes. Watching me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We're we're missing we're missing a few people right here, but we're going to continue because I don't know why, but I I made uh, this activity, but it's very very crazy. <laughs> Gonna see you later on. All right. Uh, on Friday we were practicing on how to use imperatives. Okay, I think this has been the, <clears throat> excuse me, I think this ha this one has been the easiest topic. And, uh, well, we have different uses for imperatives. Those are for recipes, for instructions, for steps, for orders, for commands, uh, for sign or on signs, we see them on signs. Yes. Now, I want you guys, I want you guys to share some imperatives from your boss. From your boss. What does your boss command you to do? Tell me. What does your boss command you to do? Or what does your uh, boss order? Marvin? Uh, I will try. Send, send the email now. Well, now <laughs> send the email now okay okay what else what else uh, for example carlos uh, pickle pickle those cables 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 yes pick up pick up right pick, pick up. up yes okay pick up those cables okay what else what else What else? Hello, people. You know your boss. It's a beautiful person. A good person. Okay. Um, share, um, search out some information and send me as soon as possible. All right, all right. In my case, Mauricio, behave. Yes, behave. I know. Sometimes. 
What else? What else, people? <laughs> Commands from your boss. Sandra, don't sleep. No, at least not Sandra. Sandra, don't sleep. <laughs> Command to my boss or my boss command. What what your boss commands you? I need a report for yesterday. Sorry? I need a report for yesterday. No, but the command, the command. <laughs> Remember, the commands, the commands do not do not take subjects. It's una orden directa. Give me the report of the week. Okay, people, we're going to stop here and uh, let me show you the activity. Hold on. This one. I don't know why, but I, I came up with the activity. Oh, here. We, we're not going to do this one. We don't have a lot of time. Yesterday, we were talking about should and should not. And, uh, well, we use should and should not for advice, which means consejo in Spanish. Good ideas, bad ideas, recommendations, and suggestions. All right? And this is what I have. Oh, uh, no. Exercise. Look at this. I got sure, should, sorry, what I love, don't eat junk food should not listen to your clean up your room last what she is what to do first and second everything that we have practiced is, is included over here and it says there let me help you reading and then you will complete the exam the 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 the, 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 the spaces let me tell you about my family there are five members in my family my mother, my father, my grandma, brother, and me. My mother is constantly telling me, space, you, space, consume proteins and vitamins. Perhaps I listen to her, but she's always pushing me to do things I don't agree with. My brother is the one who deserves scolding, not me. He always comes back home late. He, space, come late. He, space, be more organized. My mom keeps telling me, space, or agree, oh, sorry, or greet the old people. She gives me, she gives me, thank you, okay. She gives me that for this weekly agenda. Well, ignore that part. Ignore that part. No, no. She does. She does that every week. You say she tells tells con ese. She tells my dad the space thing, practically in charge of doing the show to do. Sorry, to do the space and even the space uh, one. My grandmother is practically in charge of doing the chores. She's well physically. She's always prepared. She always prepares space. And she tells my mom space. My dad always tells me space or you space. Listen to her. She knows space. My family is kind of organized, except my brother. He is a real mess. People, we have the options right here. Let's complete the activity right now. Let's go, let's work. She gives me... Oh, wait, I got it now. We, we need to copy all, all the no text copy. on the on the, on the, not, on the notebook and after try to, to solve. Yes, you have to write this in, in the spaces. For example, let me help you with the first one. 
Then you say, let me tell you about my family. There are five members in my family, my mother, my father, my grandma, my brother, and me. My mother is constantly telling me, telling me, y recogemos uno de los que están acá. Y ponemos ahí, it's constantly telling me, don't, don't eat junk, junk food. Junk food. Make this smaller. Ahí está. Don't eat junk food. Continuemos. Let's continue. Um, you should consume protein. There you go, there you go. Continue, continue, guys. Continue. <clears throat> My eyes burn right now. Should you should consume proteins? Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Exactly, you're right. You consume proteins and vitamins. Sorry? And you, you should consume proteins and vitamins. Proteins. What? Proteins. Teens. Proteins. Proteins. You should, you should, you should consume proteins and vitamins. Vitamins. Vitamins, yes. What time do we have? Oh, yes. I'm going to give you five minutes. If you don't finish, don't worry, okay? It's okay.
tipo todavía más sleeping. I didn't, I didn't take a nap today. What is a nap? Uh, it's when you sleep. You take a while. nap? <laughs> yeah, to show I know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I took a nap. I usually take a nap from, from uh, well, it's not a nap because I sleep from 3 to 6 p.m. <laughs> what? But today I could not do that. So that look you guy. Christian is back. Jorge, hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hello, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little sick. Uh, Jorge was sleeping, people. <laughs> it's okay, Jorge, don't worry, don't worry. Take it easy. You sure, you sure consume proteins and vitamins? Vitamins, protein and vitamins. Vitamin. It's what time is it? Five minutes. Okay, let's check it out, people. <coughs> let's check it out. We got junk food. Don't eat junk food. What do you have in the second one? Shoes, right? Shoes. Yes, Hell. yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, you should consume proteins and vitamins. Perhaps I should should not. Should should not what? I should. Sure, sure, sure. I should listen sure. to her. I should listen. Yes, is your mom? Is your mom? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, maybe, maybe I should. Okay, perhaps I should listen to her, but she is always pushing me to do things I don't agree with. My brother is the one who deserves scolding, scolding and regaño, not me. He always comes back late. Home, uh, sorry, he always comes back home late. He shouldn't. He should not. not. Exactly. He shouldn't, as Paola said, or he should not, as Carlos said. Both are correct. Should or sh shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't or should not. Exactly. Exactly. He shouldn't or <coughs> he should not come late. He. Sure. Right, right. He, he should. Sure. Exactly. He should be more organized. My mom keeps telling me. Clean up your room. Okay, clean up your room. Let me see. Clean up your. Okay. My mom keeps telling me clean up your room or greet the old people. People, do you greet yourselves? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It says the it says here yes. greet greet all all people. Do you greet yourselves? Sometimes. Sometimes I'm old. I'm old too. I'm 31 people. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considered an old person already. Yes. All right. Uh, she gives my dad his weekly agenda. Wow, what a woman. She does that every week. She tells my dad the first. First. Okay, the the first, she tells my dad the first thing to do. The second. Second. The second. And the last one. The last. And the last one. And the last one. My okay. grandmother is practically in charge of doing the chores. Chores activities or things you do in the house like mopping, swimming, uh doing the dishes, doing the laundry, etc. The task. She's... Sorry? List uh of the task. Yes. She's she's well physically. She always prepares. What I love. Prepares? 
What I do now? What 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 one? to do? What I love. No, what, what to I do? Love. No, what I love. No. Yes. What I love. I love you, Mister. Yes. What I love. She always prepares what I love, and she tells my mom what to do. What to do? This is the real woman. <laughs> <laughs> what to do? Yes, that's the real woman. My dad always tells me <clears throat> nothing. <laughs> tells me. Uh... Maybe listen to your mom. Yeah, or, yes. or clean up your room. I don't know. <laughs> yes. 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 It's missing the word teacher. Do your homework, Maybe. teacher. Do your <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the command. <laughs> My dad always tell me. Sometimes, sometimes I write, I write things quickly, so I, I make mistakes and uh. And yeah, listen to, happens. listen to you. Okay, listen to your, listen to your mom. Mother. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen mom. to your mother. Mother. Mm -hmm. Mother. Or you. You should. Listen to her. You should listen to her. I don't know. Always oh, tell me. You sure? You should listen to her. Yes. Oh, uh, teacher, my dad always tell me what she is. Mm -hmm. What she is. Sería mejor who she is, quién es ella, quién, quién ella es. Or, Or you. you. Or you. Or you should listen you to should. her. You should. Okay. Or you should listen to her. She knows what to do. I think this one is she what knows what to do. Okay, she knows what to do. Okay, we're gonna talk about. What to do? I don't know, people. I, I think I forgot a few words here. All right, we kind of we kind of got it. Thank you very much for helping me out with this one. Okay, we do not have. Wow, people, look at the time. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god. Yes, I know. I, I I'm stealing. I'm stealing from you. I'm stealing from you right now. Yeah. My apologies. My apologies. Up. Uh, today, I'm sorry, Christian. Can you stay? Well, not can you stay. You have to stay today. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Christian. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Sandra is tomorrow, okay? No, no. Let me do this. A mí me dijeron que Sandra se quería quedar. <laughs> Ana Victoria? Present. Andy Arnés. Present. Present. Yes. Brian David? I'm here. Carlos Alberto, thank you. I'm here. Yes, Christian, hello. Hi, teacher. Denise Alejandra? Present. Diana Amilet? What happened to Diana today? Edwin Ariberto? Present, teacher. Ismael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Ismael. Jorge Ernesto. Present, teacher. Marvin Josue. Present. Mayra was not here today. Paola Geraldine. Santa Maria. Yeah. Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Sandra Ivet. I'm here, teacher. Sara Rachel. I'm here, sir. Veronica Lisset, thank you. Present, teacher. And Jancy Andrea. Present, teacher.
Thank you, Yasin. Thank you, people. Thank you very much for today. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams, everyone. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Yasin. No, no, it's not time yet. Aún es tiempo. Aún es hora. Jorge, are you there? Hello? Good night, teacher. Goodbye, goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone, uh, we're going to continue with the practice. We're going to continue with the practice. Let me show you what we will be doing. I'm going to show you how to use should in questions and how to answer short questions with should. The structure is like this, look at it. Should plus the subject, plus the verb, plus the complement, plus the question mark. That is the structure for the questions, for the questions. Should plus subject plus verb plus complement and the question mark. Let me show you a real question. Should I, okay, should I check my email constantly should i check my email constantly how to answer this question let me show you yes you should or if it is negative no you should not all right, another example, should Martha go to the meeting? Should Martha go to the meeting? You can say, yes, she should, or if it is negative, no, she should, excuse me, she should not. One more example, should the boss hire new employees? New staff? Should the boss hire new staff? You can say or you can answer by saying yes, he should or she should. Yes, he should, or no, he shouldn't. Now, let me help you with some questions. I'm going to write down some questions, and you are meant to write the short answer or practice the short answer. Should I, should I increase the sales? Should the machines be upgraded?
should the machines be upgraded? Should the secretary send the reports? Should the mechanic repair the cars on time? And oops. Should the supervisor should the supervisor monitor the conveyor belt? Okay, these are five questions that I need you guys to answer in a short form. Okay, it can be either it can be either in the affirmative form or in the negative form. Remember, the affirmative form goes like yes, I, you, we should, no, I, you, we should not. All right, that's how it goes. 